Right, today I'm going to show you uh, some of the tricks for the Blue Ball 405. Um, it's actually the spindle that's missing on this one. I bought this second hand today, it didn't come with one. Um, and when the motor's in, as you can see, there's quite a lot of movement without the spindle there. Um, I'll just switch it on and show you what happens when there's no spindle in. As you can see then, it jumped about. Um, it wasn't very good. The spindle actually is a similar one to the Fubal 205. Now, on the 205, it's in one piece which is the yellow and the white part, which is a spindle. On the 405, the yellow part is separate. Now, you, it may be possible to make one, um, which I'm about to show you for the 205 and other models as well, but it definitely works for the 405. Right. For the spindle, we're going to use just a plain ballpoint pen. Now you need to take this ballpoint pen, so like that, take the insides out, <coughs> and you'll end up with something like that. I've used a bit of old wire to thread a minute, thread through the tubing to push all of the ink out. I suggest you do this under a running tap because there will be a lot of ink about after cleaning it as well um, just to get rid of all the neurotoxins in the ink and you obviously don't want the ink in your water either now when you pull your motor out the spindle needs to fit straight down and come out the opposite side now on some ballpoint pens this is the cheapest ballpoint pen now on the more expensive ballpoint pens this is actually slightly thicker so when you try to thread it through it's really tight now you don't want this because when you put your spindle in it needs to spin quite freely um, normally if you buy the ones that are about a pound for ten I think it is which is the cheapest that's your best option now we're going to just put the spindle in now thread it through in the bottom of this there's a groove where the spindle fits in now as you can see it's magnetized anyway if you try and push the spindle down it won't go anywhere this is obviously now you can see the movement what you'd get if it wasn't fixed into place now obviously you've got your top plate which fits on now on the 405 this is the part that actually holds your spindle together in the in the right place. Now on the Fluval 205 it's the yellow clip. Now this possibly you could make one for a 205 if you needed to. This is a temporary fix like I say. If you need to go and order a spindle you can't get one for a week but you need a pump. This is a temporary fix. Now you insert your plastic bit making sure that it's pushed all the way down. Now the best way to put this in because it is a little bit flexy to get it right, insert the spindle into the slot first and then make sure you've got it the right way around. So when you slide it in, the spindle goes into the motor and it's still in your top part. And then just clip it in. Double always double check. Now, when you're doing this yourself, you'll notice that there's the little holes around here. So you can see if your spindle is correctly still in the black part. If it is, then you're all right. Now, let me just show you what it's like with the, now the spindle's in place. It will make a bit of noise because it's not pumping the water right now. But obviously when you've put your pump back together, it should be fine. Right, let me just switch it on so you can see.
as you can see, it's all working. Just quickly take this off so you can get a better view. And if you, if you remember before, when I switched this on, it was spinning, it was rattling. Now, if I just hold this spindle in place, because this spindle actually doesn't turn. This motor turns around the spindle. So let's just hold this into place and then switch to pom pom. As you can see, that's how it will be. And if you remember, we'll take the spindle out and switch it on again, just to show you that the difference. Obviously, <laughs> it's going all over the place. Let's just put the spindle back in together. Make sure it's the right way that you're going in. Click it all into place, and you've pretty much got a temporary fix until you can order a new spindle. Now, if you've got any questions, just give me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I see the message.